slips and falls in a store or business. If you have had a slip and fall in a large or small store or a business you may be unsure as to whether you can make a claim. If you did make a claim, who would you claim against? We're going to take a look at this now. Negligence The business or store that happens to be the scene of your slip and fall will only be found liable if there was proof of negligence, and that negligence had caused your accident. Just because you slipped and fell it does not automatically mean that someone will automatically be found negligent, it has to be proven that there was an unsafe element or condition. You will also have to prove that the store or business, the defendant, was negligent and that they were aware of or should have been aware of the unsafe condition. Who can you hold liable? When you slip and fall in a store, it's not always clear who you could hold liable and subsequently sue. This can depend on who has been negligent, but again this is not always clear. However, if the owner of the store also owns the building it's likely that the owner will be found liable. Some store owners tend to lease the property which can complicate things a little but it is likely in this case that the property owner or the landlord is liable. Suing the store owner or the landlord If you had a slip and fall because there was an issue with a structural aspect of the store then your claim is likely to be against the owner of the property or the landlord. For example, if you slipped on some water that had leaked from the roof it could be deemed the landlord's fault. Please read our article Accidents on a Defective or Dangerous Property, Proving Who is at Fault for more information. Things to be aware of in a slip and fall case. Remember the store owner slash landlord will only be found liable if there was negligence, and that negligence was the cause of the accident. Just because you fell it does not mean that someone will automatically be found negligent, it has to be proven that there was an unsafe condition. You will also have to prove that the store or business, the defendant, was negligent and that they knew or should have known about the unsafe condition. When it comes to deciding whether you have a claim you will have to ask yourself. Was the floor, for example, slippery? To be successful in your claim, you should have found out why the floor was as slippery as it was. You should have ideally done this before you left the building. If you are not sure why the floor had been slippery it could be difficult to prove that it was, and win your claim. Once you have fallen, and if you are able to, take a look at the floor around you, particularly the area that you slipped on. Look for clues as to why you may have fallen. It could be a mistake to tell the manager that you are unsure why you fell. If your claim were to go to court a jury may not believe you when you are asked why you slipped and fell. Slips and falls in stores are often caused by Floor polish or wax Water, snow, or ice Peels, grapes, bananas and other food debris Oil, grease, or another form of liquid Why was it slippery? If a foreign substance, such as a grape, made the floor very slippery, how long had it been there before you slipped and fell? You will have to prove that the owner of the shop, the defendant, knew the floor was slippery or should have known that it was very slippery. What's more is the longer the floor was very slippery the more likely you can prove that the condition was known about, or should have been known about. Let's imagine that you slipped and fell on a grape, if the grape had fallen onto the floor just a few seconds there is no way that the store owner could have known about it. However, if the grape had been there for an hour or so, chances are that the owner should have known about it. Was there a notice about the slippery floor? You have no doubt seen notices or warning signs telling you that there is a hazard. If for example, the floor had just been polished it's very likely there will be a sign up notifying you of a slippery surface. Putting up such a sign does not mean the defendant can claim they are not liable, but it does show that they are less negligent because they made an effort to put the sign up. If there was not a notice of the slippery floor, the court could rule that there is evidence of negligence. Were you aware that the floor was slippery before you fell? If you were aware that the floor was slippery but you still walked on it, you could be found slightly negligent for your fall, however, this can depend on the circumstances surrounding your fall. If you have been injured in a slip and fall in a store or a business, it is vital that you collect as much evidence as you can so you can prove the fall took place and that someone could be liable. Please speak to a personal injury lawyer as soon as possible as they could help you make a claim.